with me today is Professor Dr. G. S. Sinani, sir. Son is one. Sir is one of the senior most practicing cardiologists of the country, and also was awarded Padam Shri by President, the honorary award. Sir is currently associated with Safi Hospital and Jaslok Hospital in Mumbai. Sir, it's almost more than five decades of cardiology practice. So, how has the non-communicable disease burden or the epidemiologically change you have seen across these five decades, sir? Well, Rishi, the non-communicable diseases have actually progressed at such a step that, and to control them is much more difficult than what we did for infectious diseases. Now we have almost uh, uh, control infectious diseases, but of course in the villages it still is there. But non-communicable diseases like diabetes, hypertension, coronary artery disease. And as you know that uh, India is considered as uh, the would be capital of diabetes, uh, heart attacks, yes. and all that. And uh, because of the change in the lifestyle, and uh, we Indians trying to, uh, you know, follow the American things. The Americans have given us all the bad things like pizza, hamburgers, and all that. And they have taken over all good things like yoga, meditation, and this. And so we are not able to sustain the stress of the, the, the modern life. Plus our diet, you will see, if you ask, ask your son, no, mommy, my, I'm going out with my friends. They will prefer to go and eat in the restaurant rather than the healthy food at time. And they have the bad habits of uh, going to sleep late, getting up late. I tell my patients, sleep before midnight, get up before dinner. Why? Because from 12 midnight till 3 o'clock morning, brain repair takes place. And if you are that time working or watching TV, watching a computer, you are not doing a good thing. Why we should get up in the morning early? Because the hormones are flushed in our body, like the water comes in the taps in the morning, and they are useful. We, may, we must utilize them. The old saying that early to bathe, early to rise, people have forgotten, you know, I go on telling the patients, and if you get up after the daylight, you are harming yourself. So all these... Uh, so I think the lifestyle has drastically changed. Changed, yes, drastically the changed. food That's habits it. have seen changed. a gross all change. The gross change. And the physical and activity <coughs> has, has been gone, gone, you see. Very long. Therefore, you... To attack the coronary artery disease or hypertension, we have to treat at the child level. It's not that we should think that when you are becoming middle-aged and this. It is the whole, the seeds are grown at the child level. We have to train. See, exercise, we, right from the, when we are in the womb of the mother, the child is just moving, you know, like that, they're dancing and all that. And then child, when he comes out, he is uh, again jumping. You have seen, you are the growing child. And then even, say, adolescent age, our children take up some tennis or something. My son took training and all that. But they, once they get into a job and all that, they forget the exercise. I say exercise as necessary, as food is necessary. As you find time for food, find time for exercise. So I think healthy lifestyle, good food, proper sleep. Uh, proper sleep, sleep is another important thing. There are two things, at least seven to eight hours sleep you know, during the day, and half an hour nap in the afternoon is another very good thing. See, all these Arabian countries, they close their shops in the afternoon. afternoon. They, they sleep, don't work they in the afternoon. Yeah. It is, we only work uh, in the afternoon. I have right. still the habit, even in my office, I carry my lunch and this. After having lunch, I have a nap for half to one hour before I start working. <coughs> so, six to seven hours sleep, going to bed by 10, 11 o'clock, getting up at five to six o'clock is the ideal thing in my so opinion. What is your take on yoga and meditation in today's Well, world? I mean, there is so much uh, data, to be honest with you. This Satish Gupta, who is uh, uh, Brahm Kumari's global hospital. Yes, sir. You know, I, I am a follower of Brahm Kumari's. I am not a Brahm Kumar. Yes. I go to the center in Bombay, uh, in the South Bombay, and I actually give them lecture. They call me and this uh, Raja Yoga meditation, which uh, Satish has shown it, and even I have got my paper, where a reversal of uh, this uh, coronary thrombus can take place 
if in addition to diet, lifestyle and the <coughs> necessary drugs, you do meditation, whether it is Raj Yoga or Transcendental Meditation or whatever it is, that itself is so advantageous. Similarly, yoga, you know, people say when I ask them what exercise you do, there is yoga. I say yoga is very good for your peace of mind to relieve stress, anti-stress and all that. Stress is a very important factor for coronary artery disease. So yoga itself has, uh, I'm sure everybody knows it, but now these times of India, as you know, on Marine Drive, every month they yes. do yoga during the day. And yes. When I'm watching, I'm there, I see that yoga and all so that. People are realizing the importance yeah. of... See, our habit, myself and my wife, she's also a doctor, we get about 5, 5.30. And while we are lying down on the bed, she here and this, we do yoga for 15 to 20 minutes. And then we take the car up to Air India and walk 5 kilometers there. And there I inevitably meet Anil Ambani. I give his example to the patient. Oh, sir, मत्थे खुजाने की टाइम नहीं मिलता क्या आप एक्सरसाइज बोलते हैं मैंने कहा अनिल अंबानी सुना है हाँ सुना है मैंने कहा तुम किधर तुम किधर हाँ अगर उसको टाइम मिल सकता है कि आपको भी टाइम मिल सकता है ना वेरी ट्रू सो आई गिव देम द एग्जांपल एंड जस्ट रियली आई स्पेंड लॉट ऑफ टाइम ऑन हिस्ट्री you know, Professor S. S. Mishra from Lucknow was my examiner in MD, and his habit was to ask about dietetic history. So I take the full history: what do you do during the day, what do you eat, what do you do, what exercise you do, this, so that I know what background he comes and try to correct him, he mm. what he should be eating. So, what are your three key messages to prevent cardiovascular disorders, which physicians should emphasize in everyone? Key messages are that. One is exercise. Second is a healthy diet. You should avoid the, uh, you know, foods rich in cholesterol and all that. If you are a non-vegetarian, you should take fish ad lib. I'm a fish eaterian. I take fish, you see. And if you are vegetarian, it's good. I don't say that you take fish, but uh, vegetarian, healthy food. Don't fry our, uh, you know, your food, you know. Take liberal garlic and onion. I, I have my PhD thesis on that. Garlic and onion, the, uh, the, the, the main component is sulfur compounds. That is heat resistant and water soluble. So the garlic, if taken raw, cooked, or even fried, has the same effect. And onion soup is also beneficial because it is water soluble. See, after my research in 70s, <coughs> These uh, pharma people who came out with a garlic capsule, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessary that you take capsule or this. You eat Raw liberally garlic, in that. Correct. You know, if you see uh, people who eat pasta and this, they eat a lot of garlic and onion. Another thing, though, I, I should mention it, a glass of red wine, which I take it, it has, it has been proved beyond doubt. But I'm not saying that if you are teetotaler, you should take it. But if you are taking it, then take a glass of red wine, fish, these are very good. See, French people, they uh, smoke a lot and they, they take uh, wine. They don't take water. Eskimos, they take only fish. They don't, they don't get heart attack. Even Arabs, you know, they have got less incidence of heart attack. Even though they smoke, they do all sorts of things because they take things easy. Huh? Stress level is less. Oh. So their things, you see, they, they are so easy. Uh, they say, uh, um, this, uh, whenever you go for anything, they will say, come tomorrow, bukra. Huh? Yes. Huh? Yes. Um, and then um, if you, they want to ask you, they will say, malish, like that. They, they, they take things very easy, you know. So to summarize what you wanted to say is healthy diet, healthy physical diet, activity. Exercise and sleep, and proper sleep. sleep. Have to During be, proper hours, these have are to be taken care of to prevent for long-term cardiovascular yes, disorders. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot for joining and thanks for your key messages. The non-communicable diseases have actually progressed at such a step that and to control them is much more